and good morning. No, that is not the moon you can see in my photo, in my video. It is the light in my bathroom. And obviously you can see that today the sun is shining. Yes, and when I say bathroom, I mean AKA my office. And a breathe. So here I am. What a surprise. Nothing new to report there with living with bioelastic malabsorption. Although there is one positive thing. I have managed to get back into George Elliott Hospital to see the specialist. Yes. Oh, my gosh. My doctor, I have a new doctor at my surgery, and they've been amazing. So they are painstakingly now going through, like, this medical tick sheet with me to ascertain as to why my skin, as you can probably see from my face, keeps coming out in these lumps and bumps and I constantly <clears throat> sorry I'm a little bit congested keep wanting to rip my skin off literally I'm not joking it is so itchy all over all I keep wanting to do is to try and get away from the itch um I know it's not um chill blades that's it. The warm weather has only just started. And somebody said to me, oh, it's because you've tried to shave your legs for the summer. And I'm like, yes, but I don't shave my face. <laughs> um, and I don't shave above the knee. So explain to me why the same lumps and bumps that I'm getting on my arms, getting on my legs. And I don't mean just like in one designated place. I mean, literally all over are the same and I'm literally like waking up feeling like there are little fleas or something under my skin it is horrible so I need to go back to see them today it's not just that it's also the pain in my left side is getting worse um it doesn't matter how much medication I take I still keep needing the toilet and every time I go it is like I am shitting acid it is so painful that I'm having to use um anisol a lot even the ones that you have to lovely you know put inside yourself your own body just so that I don't feel like my ass is on fire I have been getting a few fishes as well so I've actually been bleeding whilst going to the toilet which I know can cause infection um I White blood cell count is still high, but nothing to worry about. It's been high for years. And I think my platelet count or something else in my blood isn't what it should be for my age. And so, again, they're saying, oh, you know, we're really worried because your blood tests are coming back, making out that there's something wrong with you. But looking at you and the fact that you're walking around and you're talking and you're speaking and all this – it doesn't look like you're at risk of anything serious. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. As long as my blood cell count isn't elevated any higher than the following, then I'm not worried. Please don't try and put me on antibiotics. Please don't try and pump me full of drugs that my body just cannot absorb or doesn't want to touch or is going to end up causing me chronic diarrhea or chronic constipation or... Um, wanting me to puke my guts up or cause me to have um, what feels like a heart attack, okay? I'm 40 and I would like to, if possible, live to 100 if I don't get to that point where I'm thinking, oh, my God, my family are so awful. I never see them. All they want to do is stick me in a care home. Uh, I might, might as well just save their money and put me in a hole in the ground, even though that's going to cost them, like, five grand, um, so one of the things I'm hoping I can do is actually donate my body to science. I mean, I'm practically doing that while I'm alive, so why not carry on doing it when I'm dead? You know, maybe there'll be some miracle in my body that no one's found yet that might be the cure for some disease. I don't think it'd be something like stupidity, but anyway, we don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So... I will be going to the hospital to have this um, meeting. I don't know what they're going to do. Um, I very much doubt they'll do anything, to be honest. I'll probably have to have another meeting and then have something like 700 letters come through the post, cancelling my meeting about several times. And then 
phone calls and emails and texts. And then somebody will ring me or message me and say, we've cancelled your meeting. If you want another one, you've got to reschedule it yourself. Um, which seems to be something that's happening a lot lately to try and cut down waiting times, but that's a separate issue. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, if you are not in your bathroom today or your office, if you're living with bioelastic malabsorption, why not see if you can just enjoy the sunshine? Even if it is literally for like a couple of minutes or half an hour, you know, get in those vitamin Ds, help yourself after having... Um, a winter of nothing really but rain and try not to get sunburn. <laughs> Believe me, I only have to be outside for like two minutes and I burn. So take care of you. And I hope today and when I have my meeting goes well.